Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you know, I am taking the time to go along and do so longs for the Golden Rule. I am not being paid by the Golden Rule. I just got the system and as much as it advertised that it is for beginners, it is, but it's not. Um, you do have to have some kind of knowledge of how to construct a garment when doing this. So I figured that some so longs would be able to help because I know that's one of the things that helped me when I began sewing that I was able to go on YouTube and find some sew alongs that helped me try to figure out what I'm doing. So if you remember, I am doing pattern number one um, for the golden rule. I've already done the shirt and I have a past couple of videos so I'm so long for that. I am going to make some adjustments to that um, shirt because I'm doing like both outfits um, but with that adjustment i'm using like a completely different type of fabric unfortunately um when i went to go to try to do it i did not have enough for the back piece so um i had to find new fabric and i'm waiting for that to come in so i can be able to sew it up i'm trying to do like a very mini collection so it's going to be pants two different shirts and a jacket um for this one because they this one go together but i didn't want to do um, a printed um, fabric for it for the top and the bottom and then something to go along with this so that being said I have already did the shirt and this is the um, jacket video the jacket is has a lot of pieces to it so what I did for this one because it has a lot of pieces I didn't want to miss anything and what I'll do is I will post one of size of me but I will post the list of the pieces because it is easier to be able to sit down write out the pieces to make sure I'm not missing anything so there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten pieces one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, make sure this is correct. So there's ten pieces to this particular pattern, and I wanted to make sure I already um I had all of them. So like I said, I will list them here. And what I have done is I've already started. So um I started on my pocket flap facing, um, my facing for the front. Got that piece here, and then I also went ahead and did my front. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is the back of the jacket. I'm going to walk you through how to do the back of the jacket and the peplum because the peplum is a little different because the sign, the plus sign that you would normally stick your pin through is not in the actual pattern. It's off, um, it's on the top of it and I want to walk you through how to do that. So if you can get your pattern pieces and meet me at the cutting table.
my jacket. I just finished connecting all the pieces for that. Um, I'll show you guys in detail what I put on it, but I wanted to show you how I do my facings. For me, it's easier to do a separate pattern piece for the facing. If you look on your pattern, um, it shows you that it has the little stripes and where there's the little stripes at, that's where you need facings for. So what I go ahead and do is because it's already on here, I'm going to make a facing for it. So I'm gonna make a pattern piece for it. It tells you the width that you need for your facing piece. So for this, my width is two centimeters. I'm gonna put some weights on this so I don't move around while I work. Okay, and as you guys are gonna see, when I do my pattern pieces, I do like to go ahead and color code them. So most of the time, the front, the back, and any sleeve pieces are different colors. So for this back piece, I'm gonna go ahead for my facing and do the two centimeters. is that once I finish, I'm gonna connect all these dots. Now for this particular jacket, the back piece has a dart in it. Well, so does the front piece. Front and back pieces have darts in it, but the facing for this back piece does not come all the way to the shoulder seam. So, all right. Straight line there. Follow my line there. Bring it down two inches. And then I'm gonna take my ruler and work on the curve. Because I wanna be able to connect all of the three dots that I did. Okay, so I do that. And I'm going to label that it is the back facing cut two. And I also need interfacing. They don't put that in there, but I do interfacing all of my face pieces, my facing pieces. And that's also a cut two. Actually, I am wrong. That is a cut one because the back is cut on a fold, okay? All right. So, I'm gonna cut this out real quick. Now, remember, for all of the pieces that I'm doing, I have not put any kind of seam allowance on there. So once I get ready to cut out my pieces, I will add seam allowance to the pattern piece um, right on the fabric. So there you go. That is my facing piece, okay? All right. So the only other thing I want to show you guys um, with this particular jacket is that depending on if you're trying to go in order with the pattern pieces, which I am not trying to go in order, I'm definitely going to um, move around depending on what I want to sew. Um, but this particular pattern piece which is the peplum so peplum front and the peplum back um they are not connected to the front so you have to do a, 
a pattern piece for it. But if you can see above both of them, the back and the front, and it's a lot of light. So there you go. So it has this plus sign, this right here. This is where you're going to actually do your, um, putting your pin to be able to make your pattern piece. So I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So when I'm doing this facing pattern piece, I'm actually going to start further up because there is no um, measurements needed at the top of, that goes above the waistline for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark this with my waistline up here. Okay, so do the same thing. Um, you take your pen, measure, Tape. I always tell myself I need a bigger dress. But you got to work with what you got. Okay. All right. So for the bottom piece, you're actually going to, instead of working um, with your chest measurements that I did for um, the front and the back, you're actually going to be working with your um hip measurement so let me find mine so sometimes i know um if you read through the information that so my hip and my waist i mean my bust are not that much different but you definitely want to make sure that you use the right measurement when you're depending on what you are um, making a pattern piece for. So I am going to do the front. And because my hip measurement is 137 circumference, I'm actually going to use um, the 138. Okay, so I stuck it where it is above it and it is where it has the plus sign and then I'm going to start my markings. So the first one. I don't know why I started this. I'll start with pin first. Makes it easier. So and you need to take people. And this one's really easy. It doesn't have a lot of measurements on it, but I try to be as accurate as possible. So I wear the measures twice and only cut once. All right. So I'm going to move that out of the way for the moment. Let's 
see which ruler I can use. <clears throat> So then I am going through and connecting all my dots. And that is your new peplum piece. So what you also want to do is leave that up there. Make sure you do your grain. Come over some grain line. Um, you label, so this is going to be E. D. You also have a front facing piece, which I will also eventually do. Um, and this one you have where you need to put your flap. So... I'm almost certain that this will be center. So you're going to end up marking out where your flat piece goes. And when I originally saw the flat piece for the pocket, um, it's a faux pocket. So um, I want to say the top is 14, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 14 centimeters. So <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this dot is going to end up being my center. So I'm going to actually make that my center. So I'm going to do this side and then I'm seven, 14 that side. Um, and that's where my flap is going to go. Okay. <clears throat> so. Oh, I was just like, where did I put my scissors? Now, like even with this, I might go back depending on how it looks once I do my mock-up. Because I'm going to do for my mock-up, my sleeves, my back, my front, and my peplums. I may inc um, lengthen the size of this peplum. I'm a big girl, so small platforms so don't cute on me. But we'll see once I finish doing the mock-up up for it. And then you guys are going to see the mock-up at the end of this video. I'm not going to actually do it. I'll just show you what it looks like. Alright. So then... I'm labeling some things on here so I know 
how I am going to end up labeling on my actual fabric. So one of the things I am probably going to do is do notches. So this will be a two notch. This will be a one notch. So now that we have the peplum piece and you know how to um, use the golden rule when it that X is, or that plus sign is not actually in the pattern that you're using, go ahead and finish measuring out all of your pieces, cut them out. What I have already done is I've already treated my fabric for this particular pattern. Um, so that's already done. All I have to do next is do my mock-up. So if you've seen the past videos that I have do, um, I've done on my channel, I haven't done a lot, but normally with me, every garment that I have done, um, that is new, like this is my first time doing this particular um, jacket, I am going to go ahead and do a mock-up for it so I know how it's going to look on me. I am going to be able to tell, um, you know, the fit of it. And that's what's one of the most important things before you start construction. Now, you may be a person who like to deal with the fit as you go along. And if that's the case, go ahead and cut out your pattern pieces and the next video that's going to come out is going to be the sew along for the jacket. But for me, I'm going to cut out my pep peplum pieces, my front and my back, and my sleeve. I'm going to sew those together very quickly and just make sure the fit is right and see if I need to make any adjustments. I hope you take the time to sew along with me with this jacket. I'm super excited for it. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.